before we dive into uh, some of your experiences, uh, maybe give us a quick one or two minute background about yourself. Got it, great. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, I had uh, sort of, you know, started my career after uh, finishing school at Microsoft uh, and ended up staying there for a little longer than I thought I would stay. So I ended up uh, with you know, almost about 27 years at Microsoft and mostly working on building and, de and delivering products on the platform side of the house. Started with like, you know, the, you know for those of you who even remember this, uh, Microsoft used to be working on an operating system called OS2. And that's where I started my career and then, uh, and then went to NT, which then became Windows. So I was there for, for quite a bunch of time delivering multiple versions of Windows and then moved over to running the developer division at Microsoft, which is, uh, and, and that group was responsible for building all the developer runtimes and developer platforms and developer uh, tools and developer services and developer runtimes kind of thing. So and if, you are a, if you are a developer that wants to build something, an application, a service or whatever it is on top of the Microsoft platform, chances are my team was responsible for uh, delivering something to you in one way, shape or form, right? So things like Visual Studio, things like .NET Framework, things like you know, Visual Studio Team System, and actually, the one fun story is the last, very last product that I launched while at Microsoft is uh, hopefully something that uh, a lot of developers would know today about called Visual Studio Code. Uh, that was like the last product that I launched when I left Microsoft kind of thing, right? So so uh, I was at Microsoft for almost 27 years and then transitioned from being an operator at Microsoft to being a venture capitalist. And uh, I joined Madonna Venture Group, which is the leading you know, venture capital firm in Seattle and uh, have been a managing partner there since then. And uh, for the last five and a half years, I've been looking at like you know, investing primarily in companies that are what I call enterprise facing or B2B facing companies up and down the stack, starting from like you know, cloud infrastructure to data platforms, including Snowflake, to like you know, SaaS, to machine learning and AI and intelligent applications and the like. So anything up and down the stack as, as it relates to selling to a business or an enterprise, I, I sort of look at that and say like, you know, hey, is this something that we should be a part of? 